I never come here. Reverend John exposed Meg hired magician working in Doria Church for early baptism. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have christened their 21-month-old daughter, Lily Bet, in a private ceremony at their family home in California. It has been confirmed that the couple held a small and intimate christening for their daughter at their 11 million pound mansion in Montecito, where the couple permanently relocated to in 2020. A source close to the couple revealed that Prince Harry and Markle did invite royal family members, King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William, and Kate Middleton, but none of them appeared at the ceremony. A spokesperson for the couple confirmed that, Lee Lee but Diana was christened on Friday, March 3rd by the Archbishop of Los Angeles, the Reverend John Taylor. This morning, who clarified to me that he is the bishop in the Episcopal Diocese of Los Angeles, rather than the Archbishop. As for the event itself, it is the families to talk about, he told me. Then he hinted that he never went to Elizabeth's christening, but he was invited to the event. However, Reverend John Taylor refused and he knew Meghan used a magician who frequented Doria's spiritual church. Meghan's PR team used the fame of the Reverend to cover the truth. I guess the Harkers are desperately planting and leaking once again. There seem to be many mysteries behind. You can think of the place of the baptism and the person performing the ceremony. This raises suspicions of an agenda behind. Episcopalians do not baptize during Lent. Lent this year is February 22nd to April 6th which is now. Baptisms are done on a Sunday and are done only at a church, not a private residence. Nor do we baptize privately or in someone's home, absent extraordinary circumstances. Their inability to correctly identify the officiant of this ceremony underscores what an absolute force and mockery they have made of a religious rite. I think the Bishop of LA has some explaining to do. Even the bishop guy called it an event, which struck me as an odd term to use by a bishop. Whatever happened, I'm sure that there was some financially motivated and staged event within the man hired by Meghan's mother because Reverend John did not appear. How does a bishop in L.A. have any jurisdiction in Montecito? I don't know about you guys, but there's not an archdiocese around there that covers an area that's two hours away. The Episcopalian population of the diocese is about 48,000. That's hardly enough for an archbishopric. HM are either ignorant or use that title to puff up the announcement in an attempt to give it equal weight with the Archbishop of Canterbury. Why did they not hold the ceremony at the Episcopal Cathedral? It is puzzling. I'm wondering if Netflix, etc., may have been in Montecito. Christening is for the benefit of the child, not the benefit of the parents. The fact that Harry and Meghan have chosen to manipulate their own children doesn't mean those children should be denied the comfort and fellowship of the church and admission to the body of Christ, as Rashi and Lily chose to do. When the future is not up to anyone but them, I realize we were upset about what has occurred, but this is not the fault of anyone but Harry and Meghan, not the church or the priest or the godparents or the children. This was the decision made by Harry and Meghan. The ceremony is not invalidated because it took place in a private home, 